Hello, everybody. I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, where we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart together, going over this really large rise to the upside that we're seeing right now, how we have been looking for this rise, the reason why, and the new pattern that we are printing on the charts right now. I'm going to be giving you all of the juicy details that you need to know to successfully trade Bitcoin alongside me and the team right now. So let's go straight into it, not wasting any time. I'm going to pick up right where we left off the last video for a real quick two minute introduction type style. And then we'll move on to what's happening exactly right now, the pattern that we're looking at and how this is going to be playing out over the next four to five days to come. So let's just go straight into it. Starting off here where we obviously rejected at our harmonic target. I hope you can remember this from the last video. We obviously had that harmonic. Let me just draw it out for you very, very quickly indeed, where we went from X to A up into the CC at B, down into the CC at C, and then we hit that NPOC up here at the daily zone to give us our point D at the high of that wick. And that gave us our completed harmonic, okay? That was obviously our Gartley harmonic that we were looking at. That harmonic hit the target, and we come down and we back tested that value area high at the time. Obviously, what happened from there is we had that short entry because we lost the value area high. And upon losing that value area high, what does it give us? It gives us this, the target of that range POC, which for me was around that $19,000. We lost the value area high. We're looking for the red candle down to the POC at the very least, okay? And really simply, well, that is what happened over the coming day. We come down, we hit that POC. We started to bounce around here a little bit. And then last night, I done a champions live stream. In that champions live stream, I found a new pattern that I was looking for. Again, this pattern that I found was before it even happened. It was one of these things that I'm very good at foreseeing into the future, right? And this is what I foresaw last night, that we're going to get another drop to the downside to test this low. And that's then going to give us a kind of left shoulder. Here is the head with the drop down to test this low. And then we're looking for a bounce. Okay, so I'm really simply looking for another drop before a rise in price. Well, have a guess what happened, ladies and gentlemen, after that Champions live stream, which, by the way, if you want to watch, you can obviously watch it back on demand right now on uh, the website chartchampions.com. That's available to watch right now if you want to go and watch that live stream. OK, uh, but anyway, from that live stream, I thought about this idea and basically we're looking for another drop before a rise. And what happened after that live stream finished? We got it. We got the drop to test that low. That then has given us the low that we're looking for. And now we're looking for a rise in price, right? We got the drop. We want to then see the rise to around 19,700. And this was the perfection of confluence. As you all know, we're placing a lot of emphasis on the stock market right now. As I'm saying, it's extremely helpful. What did we see? We saw on the stock market open the back test of the value area low. Let me, I'm going through this very quickly because I am actually actively trading this right now. I do need to keep this kind of quick, uh, but nevertheless, I'm keeping it professional for you. But what we actually saw was the back test of this value area low, really perfect, right on the stock market open. So stock market open, we get the back test of the value area low. This is giving us really strong move to the upside on the stock market, which of course is leading us to believe we're going to see a large move to the upside on Bitcoin. Why? Because Bitcoin follows the stock market. If you've got your stock market analysis on point, then you've got your Bitcoin analysis on point right now. And so that gave us us the reasonings to think, okay, we're going to continue to move up here on the Bitcoin chart. And I was really looking between the daily and this NPOC zone. This for me is a zone of resistance starting at the daily. We have the CC in here moving up towards that NPOC. Let me just show you. Obviously, we've just cleared the daily. But when we pull on the CC, we can see, well, I've already got it pulled here. We have the CC just above us here and then into the NPC. So this zone that we're in right now is obviously our resistance zone. OK, starting from the daily. So we are currently in resistance. I, I would not be longing here, you know, because this for me is the re resistance zone. But this zone that we have right here is our resistance where we can then potentially have this. Again, I'm not going to be here to say this is a perfect head and shoulders pattern. I know head and shoulders patterns are like reversal patterns. We're in a downtrend. You don't need to remind me of this. I know we're in it. I'm basically looking at this as a trend really overall, but we are obviously have our kind of left shoulder, we have our overall head, and then we're here forming the potential right shoulder, right? So we know that this is our resistance zone, our, our short zone, to give us that potential left shoulder, I'm oh, sorry, right shoulder here, sorry. And what's the invalidation of this? Well, really simply, it's actually if we clear and hold around 19,900 as support. So if we hold and flip 19,900 as support, then that would mean we've gone straight through resistance and we're starting to flip it into support, right? If that happens, it simply invalidates the head and shoulders because we would want to see this, you know, reject here, okay? In, in this, so we'd want to see the rejection. 
left. So really simply, we now had the perfect harmonic from CCs to CCs to target zones down into the lows of the C of the harmonic to give us that idea that we were looking at in the Champions live stream last night. A final drop before a rise. We've got the drop. We've got the rise and now we're looking to pay attention to what happens here at this zone of resistance between the daily into the CC and this NPOC. Really simply, if we get the rejection here, we're going to be looking back down to test the lows. If we do not and we reclaim and hold as support 19,900, it invalidates the idea that I have here. OK, and I can be looking back up towards the daily and 20,500. For me, this is very important to keep an eye on simultaneously what happening on the stock market. So what I like to do, actually there's three things that I'd be looking at right now. I would have on my left screen here, Bitcoin. I will have on the middle screen here, I will put on Ethereum because Ethereum is another one that I'm monitoring. And on this right screen, I will have up here the ES. These three assets are what I'm going to be looking at right now. This is what's going to be helping me make very well informed decisions. Of course, always monitoring the order flow as it's coming in here. This is, of course, very, very, very important. Currently, as it speaks, again, order flow can change with a second. What I say now could be invalidated even in 10 seconds from now. This is live data coming in as it's happening, real evidence, real orders. Currently, we have no trap longs up into this high. So that leads me to believe that we can still get this another push. If we start to get traps longs coming up in here, you know, high positive delta, big open interest increases, and then we come up and change the market structure to leave trap longs, well, then that will give me the sign that the high is in. Currently, I do not believe this because of the order flow. Okay, nevertheless, I'm not opening along here because we're in a resistance zone, but I have not got an, an executable short position as it stands right now. So for me, I'm remaining slightly patient here. I know I'm in my zone of resistance. I know I'm looking for this short. Okay, it would be a, for me a compound because I'm already in one from higher. I'm looking to compounds. And for me, I'm just waiting for the entry trigger based off the order flow, based off my confluence with the other markets. Obviously, the big one being the um, ES. This is for me the, the biggest confluence that I can have right now. And this I'd be swapping between uh, Bit Ethereum and the DXY. Okay, the DXY is basically just range bound. But as you can see here, the ES continuing with local strength, local strength on the ES, uh, nothing bearish on the order flow as of yet. Leads me to believe that we can come up and actually tap some of my higher levels here. Um, yeah, we'll obviously be looking to, to take my next trade. So yeah, I hope you've been, well, this was a quick walkthrough. Of course, if you've enjoyed, you can give a like. And if you want to see more, come over to the website. I'll give you one more final reminder. If you want to see the Champions live stream from last night, if you want these details before everybody else, live in the time, as they're happening, you're going to see it always first within the Discord. This is for all of the champions. That's where I will always give my updates first. So if you want those updates before everybody else, then you can check it over in the Discord. And I'll give you one other reminder, and that is that tomorrow you're going to be able to have access to the Igor live trading stream. This is obviously the most requested and most loved video right now. And so if you want to see the live trading, that will be happening tomorrow. His last stream, by the way, was two hours 43 uh, minutes <laughs> so this guy is just going lawn and on and on and on just giving so much golden nuggets so much information you get to see the live trading as it's happening that last video nearly three hours long and yeah the next one that he'll give you is tomorrow so if you want to get all of the education if you want to understand the theory you want to understand these charts you want all of the educational side well then you can obviously get that over with the uh, theory educational that we have on the website and if you want the live updates in terms of the Discord, in terms of my live streams, in terms of the other coaches' live streams. There's daily live streams every day for you. That's also for the live trading over at chartchampions.com. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one that we make. All these updates, <laughs> all these updates are very important that you obviously pay attention and understand what we're going through here. So yeah, hope you've thoroughly enjoyed. If you have, I'll catch you over on the Discord or in the website. So cheers, everybody. Thank you. And ending with, yeah, no financial advice. Of course, everything we're talking about is just for the education entertainment video only. Okay. Paper demo trade accounts and important legal trade disclaimer there. So cheers, everybody. Thank you. And goodbye. Cheers.